guys, so I'm actually using a real camera and a real light box. So this is going to be semi higher quality than the usual drivel I've been providing for the last couple of weeks. I'm very happy to be finally doing this video. I've been working very hard sewing recently. If you watch my video, that'll be just below this, um, a making tea video, then you'll understand sort of a bit of like why my life is doing this at the moment and why I'm spending all my time sewing. So here is my tutorial on how to make this bell cosplay now i did film some bits and pieces when i was actually making it but i'm probably include them in like a little montage thing at the end if i can re-download them and it doesn't cause me too much stress i'm looking at my phone because that's how i can see like what's happening on the camera so sorry about that i'm just going to take you through the basics of how i put this together and then hopefully you can create something similar and if you do attempt it do let me know um the more i look at this the more i realize how shitty it is like especially compared to my cinderella uh, live action that i'm making at the moment just like i've improved i've only been sewing like three months and i've just improved so much like in just every single way so this is kind of like terrible for my standards at the moment but I'm just going to take you through it I made up the pattern myself pretty much from watching YouTube videos so I'll just take you through how I did that I'm going to start with the bodice um oh a little bit of like vlogging section going on there this bodice is lined now what I did was I made a version I made a pattern for the bodice using just a regular top that I already had although I would suggest using something that's like um, got loads of different sort of panels in it something that fits you quite well and isn't in a stretch fabric basically what you want to do is look at it and if you can see you can see all the lines on this because I didn't do this very neatly but um, it's basically I've copied exactly how a top was in fact I'm gonna go get the top so since I can't actually find the top that I used to make this I'm just gonna quickly show you my Cinderella bodice because this was actually a way better way of doing it so um, I will enclose the pattern I used for this maybe on my sewing Instagram I'll post like a picture of it so you guys can copy it out and do it to your measurements so I'll post that on Laura's Always Sewing so you can see that because I can't show you how I actually made this one yet what I did is if you can see in the between here I don't know if you can but I got a very thin fabric that was just actually not kind of thin it was just like a really plain um relatively sturdy cotton and made a uh, lining out of it to the shape and then i cut out exactly the same pieces of this satin and this satin i found on ebay um in just like the goldy yellow color because i wanted to get it quite close but i also wanted it to be really pretty i didn't want it to be like a garish yellow so i basically cut out the same pieces of this yellow satin as i did with the lining now there is boning in this and that is plastic uh i don't have any to show you but it's plastic uh, hard things that you can sew over well you can get sew over ones I did the sewing ones and I place them in the places that need structure so I place them down the bodice here up the sides and down the back so if you find uh, I'll enclose all this on Laura's Always Sewing for more details because I know this is really terrible at the moment now turning bell around you'll see how, just how messy this is at the back here because it's still got so much more adjusting to do but what I did was I hammered in eyelets now you can get eyelet like hole puncher things from any craft stores and um they come with like applicator things and eyelets are just a really great way of securing it you can it's really easy like a corset type thing um and i just uh made tiny little holes down the back going in sort of like a v shape um along with the the side seams and i uh, thread them up they're really uneven and this is all falling to pieces because it's so terrible so just ignore that but that's how i did the back to get it to secure these um side sleeves and everything it was really very simple i took the gold organza that i also got from ebay that i used on the main skirt and i gathered it and i pinned it on a mannequin it's really great to get one of these mannequins because you can do so much drape work which makes sewing so much easier i got this off ebay for about 24 pounds they come in all different sizes you can even get adjustable ones but they're a lot more expensive so i didn't get an adjustable one so this is roughly my body size but i know that they fit me better than they fit the mannequin because I do it to my measurements rather than the mannequins um, but this was just super easy for me to then put the bodice on the mannequin and pin it on and then hand stitch where I wanted it to be gathered and as you can see I don't know if actually you can see because my camera's quite far away um, I've got, got these small yellow goldy bead thingies which I've stitched on very roughly they're all falling off because my hand stitching was not good um, but they make it the whole thing sparkle which I just think is a really nice touch moving on to the skirt now you're probably wondering how I managed to get this level of fullness now this is the key to any ball gown making and that is purchasing a hoop skirt you can make your own but I didn't want to venture into that yet purely because I just didn't really have the time or money but you can get these hoop skirts off eBay I got this for £11 they come in all different sizes different rings I think this is a five ring one which has worked out pretty well and I'm also using it for my Cinderella cosplay just adapting it ever so slightly the benefits of a hoop skirt means that you don't need as many petticoats you probably should if you want to get a level of fullness like with my Cinderella one you'll see that I've still got a hoop skirt plus six petticoats but for this um bell I didn't want it to be too poofy because we've got the ruching on here so I'm gonna I can't 
lift this up because it's all attached but you're going to probably be wondering how I made the panels to go on the skirt now for a normal ball gown skirt you'd probably make a circle skirt by and circle skirt measurements are very complicated in my brain because you have to use a lot of maths but like I said more details for that will be on Nora's Always Sewing um, but you can also find really amazing YouTube tutorials on how to make circle skirts and that kind of thing but I didn't use that in this case because of the panels so what I did is I took the circumference of my waist and the circumference of the bottom of the hoop skirt and I worked how how much um how small it would need to be at the top versus how long it would need to be at the bottom and I divided up my panels so that I would have a triangular shape and it would fit I think there's a 10 or 11 or maybe 12 panels going around the entire here and what I did was I just whizzed them through the sewing machine um, all together back to back so that they all fold out like this and if you watched any of my or saw any of my progress pictures you'll see that it was all very flat and it looked quite nice but if you want to get Belle's classic ruched up um, gathers I then took a needle and thread and went through and hand gathered each of these while it was on the mannequin and while it was all attached now you might be thinking well that's a whole lot of effort and it is it takes a lot of time to hand gather but the effect like is undeniably very Belle-esque now the way I did this overlay um, is not a way I would recommend doing it again. I would recommend you probably need about seven meters, six or seven meters of organza depending on how um, long you want your skirt to be, how tall you are and that kind of thing. But for this type of circle skirt I would probably need about six meters which is what I did on my Cinderella cosplay. In this you can see I've literally just wrapped it around sewed it in at the side and beaded this layer here and then just gone and done gathers on each of the layers and sewed a little bead into the layers but then you get this really it's quite a nice drape but it's not the kind of drape I wanted for this dress because I just didn't know any better I didn't know how else to make it but what I would do now is I would make a circle skirt using the six meters of organza you cut it in half stitch it together make a circle skirt there'll be more instructions for that on so many youtube channels honestly this is how I learned um and then you don't get this awful um gather up here it's very smooth and then you can make the gathers exactly the same I love how beads just fell off when I touched it so I did all of this sewing on a vintage singer machine which only does a straight stitch so it was a bit of a challenge and that's how I've been doing my uh, Cinderella cosplay but it's worked so far as you can see this is super messy and while I was really proud of it at the time and I'm still really proud because it was like my first major major cosplay I made um, I'm sure you guys can do way better um, you don't have to be a wizard sewing I literally learned how to sew so quickly um, I made this dress the other day that I'm wearing a little kit Kit Kat dress and it's got um, pockets and stuff and I I don't know if you follow my Instagram or like Snapchat but I'm always making myself clothes now because once you get into the swing of it it's so easy to make things that fit your style. I'm going to enclose videos if I have them um, for the end of this video to hopefully explain all this a bit more. I wish this was a better tutorial. Um, I guess it was just a brief explanation of how I made it. Um, if you like, there are just so many channels doing amazing sewing tutorials and that's literally how I learned to sew. Um, so honestly just check them out because they're amazing. I'm going to be making a video like this for Cinderella, but hopefully that'll be a bit more in-depth because there's so much more to the Cinderella dress. This is very basic in comparison, and I'm very proud of the Cinderella dress because it actually looks semi-professional. I'm using interfacing, and my stitching is neater, and just everything is so much better. But as a first cosplay, I was really proud. Um, I've had a lot of people... I'm just going to move my camera down a bit because I think it was a bit weird. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about commissions. So... Uh, when I have, like, at the moment, if anyone is following my Laura's Always Sewing and I post something that you think maybe you would like to buy, um, drop me a DM on there because I'm more than happy to make commissions if there's something that's, like, really doable for me, and then we can, like, work out prices and things like that based on what fabric you want. Um, I'm thinking of doing commissions for these kind of little dresses. I've got ones that have sleeves as well, um, in a variety of fabrics. You can literally ask me for pretty much anything and I can go get it. Um, um, some with embroidery on. I'm doing, um, I'm thinking of doing some co sets, like skirts and uh, little tops and things like that and if anyone wanted me I think not from the look of this you would not want me to commission you a ball gown however um, if you watch my Cinderella one and you think maybe you would like me to commission a ball gown say you have a company that does princess parties or things like that I would be more than happy to discuss that with you obviously I'm looking at doing more of the big super super big commissions next summer when I have time because when I go back to uni it's going to be very hard for me to make things on this scale but if you are interested please let me know because um, it's something I really enjoy doing and it'd be really cool to have a sort of side career doing that I will try to link any videos that I use specifically 
you for this in the description and I know that for my Peasant Bell cosplay and for Cinderella I'll have, not so much for Cinderella, but for Peasant Bell I'll have a ton of videos to link in, in there and if you want any specific tips just direct message me and I'll give you all the help I can. Um, like I said, just start sewing, it's one of like, I feel like not that many young people sew anymore and it's just a really handy skill to have and it's really saved my life this summer dramatically. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'm sorry it wasn't very thorough or particularly explanative. Um, however, I, I I'm really new to this myself so I don't really think I'm in a position to be giving people tips but if you want anything like direct then let me know and I'll enclose some like pictures and things now okay bye